Hello everyone, welcome to day 24th of Abridly Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is sort list. Here in this question we are given a linked list and we need to sort this linked list into ascending order. We need to return the updated sorted linked list as a result. We are looking for a solution that runs in the time complexity of order of n log n. And I'll be talking about this approach by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Sort list lead code 148. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. Let's go a step back. Let's consider the case instead of giving the input in the format of linked list. If we have the input in the format of array, how could have you solved this question? It's simple. We are looking for time complexity of order of n log n. That means either you go for merge sort technique or quick sort technique. Let's hypothetically assume that we are going to move for the merge sort technique. And in case you are already aware of merge sort technique, then this solution would be a cakewalk for you. If you are not, then again you have come to the right place. So let's assume you are given an input array where the elements are 4, 2, 3, 6, 70, 9, 10, and 5. Let's start the typical merge sort technique. What do we do? We simply divide the entire array into two parts. So the current length is 8. That means the divided length would be 4 each. So the first part goes here. The second part goes here. Now again, we recursively invoke the same merge sort algorithm on these two different parts. As a result of which, we are again going to divide this into two parts. So this belongs to the first part. This belongs to the second part. Along with this, these two also get split. Let's proceed ahead. Next, again, what we are going to do, we'll invoke the same algorithm into these sub parts. As a result of which, we get this, this by virtue of this, and we get these two by virtue of this invocation. We get these two by virtue of this invocation. We get these two by virtue of this invocation. And now, since all of them have independent elements of size one unit, we are going to merge those up. So when we merge four and two, what is the updated list? The updated list happens to be of type two comma four. So we have sorted these two up while traversing back. So these two have been sorted and this corresponds to this particular list. Awesome. Now here the elements are three and six. So what do we do? We sort these two up. So these two have been sorted and let's reverse back. This corresponds to this these two elements after the sorting operation is done six and three let's proceed ahead next we have 70 and 9 so 9 and 70 gets sorted and this corresponds to these two elements let's proceed ahead next we have 10 and 5 so these two get sorted and it corresponds to 5 comma 10 now it's pretty simple and straightforward. What do we need to do? We need to perform merging on what two linked list or arrays. The first part is this one. The next part is this one. And this can be done in order of N. So these two are already sorted in nature. You can simply merge these two up in order of N time complexity. So when these two gets merged, what is the updated list? The updated list would be something like this, two, three, four, six which is in sync with our expectation after the merging operation has been done. So these two are gone and this represents this particular list. Similarly, we'll do it here as well. We have a part as 970, b part as 5 comma 10. What you're going to do, these are already sorted in nature and you're going to merge these two up. So when you perform the merging operation, what would be the output result? 9, 5, 9, 10, 70. And this would correspond to this particular invocation. And again, in the last step, you want to re finally return the appropriate result. Here you will merge these two sorted linked list. What would be the result? 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 70. Which is, un which is in sync with our expectation. And the time complexity for this merging operation happens to be of order of n. Since we are breaking these in parts of 2, the overall time complexity becomes order of n log n. 
if you have understood this then this approach can simply be applied on the linked list to actually come up with the algorithm so let's now extend this to the linked list kind of a scenario going ahead let's consider a simple case where we are given two linked list 1 3 4 6 and 2 5 10 16 both of them are sorted in nature how do we merge this up in order of time complexity of length of first linked list plus length of second linked list so what do we do we create three pointers one for iterating over the first linked list one for iterating over the second linked list and the first and the foremost step is to create a dummy pointer in all linked list problems that will store the head of our final linked list so let's call it dummy and what do we do we compare it1 with it2 which one has a lower value it1 has a lower value as a result of which dummy dot next will point to it1 since we have consumed it1 we'll increment it1 to the next position and we'll also create another pointer for iterating or building our final link list which now points to here so our it points to this it1 points to 3 and it2 is still at 2 let's proceed ahead let's do the same comparison out of 2 and 3 which one has a lower value 2 is a lower value as a result of which we'll consume 2 first so it dot next will point to 2 it points here since we have consumed it2 we will increment it to the next position and along with this don't forget to increment it because we have built the list up up till here so it now points to this position let's do the same comparison out of 3 and 5 which one has a lower value 3 has a lower value as a result of which it dot next will point to 3 since we have consumed uh, it1 we'll increment it to the next position along with this it now points to 3 let's proceed ahead out of 4 and 5 which one has a lower value 4 has a lower value as a result of which we will consume 4 so it now points to this it1 now points to this and it uh, dot next points to 4 also we update it to this particular location so this is my new it let's proceed ahead out of 6 and 5 which one has a lower value 5 has a lower value as a result of which it dot next will point to it2 uh, since we have consumed it2 it will point to the next position and it will point to 5 so it now points to 5 pretty awesome let's proceed ahead out of it2 and it1 which one has a lower value 6 and 10 6 is a lower value as a result of which we'll come we'll consume it1 so it1 gets consumed and uh, uh, we increment it1 to the next position which is null that means we are done iterating over the first linked list as a result of which it points to 6 and since we have consumed the entire it1 list we will attach all the remaining elements in it2 with it1 so this these gets attached over here the updated list is something like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 16 and using this we have merged these two up in time complexity of length of l1 plus length of l2 now comes the question how do we identify the middle point in a linked list we can simply use the two pointer approach slow pointer versus fast pointer to actually come up to the middle point of any linked list i am attaching the link to the playlist of linked list series kindly have a look at it if you are unaware of the basics it's worth spending time on it and for those who already are aware of it it's time to revise those up Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude it up. So here I have divided the algo into two parts. The first one says you have to merge two sorted linked lists. So let's walk through it. I'll exactly follow the same steps as I talked about in the presentation. If my head one is null, I return head two. If my head two is null, I return head one. And the assumption here is both of them are independently sorted. Going ahead, I create the dummy pointer and uh, I'll initialize value minus 1 to it. I use it for iterating over the final list. Till the time my head 1 is not null and head 2 is not null. I choose the one which has lower value out of head 1 and head 2. 
I attach it to it dot next to head one, head one equals to head one dot next, and it is equal to it dot next. Otherwise, I attach it with head two. Exactly same steps. We have just swapped head one with head two. And once we are done with this, that simply means one of the linked list has become empty. We go and go ahead and attach all the remaining elements to uh, it whatever remains. Here head one is not null. Here head two is not null. In the end, we simply return dummy dot next, which will return us the sorted merge list using the two linked list that we have head one and head two. Let's proceed ahead. Let's look at the core algo now. So here I have used the fast pointer and slow pointer approach. Fast and slow both point to head and previous points to uh, the previous of the slow one. Till the time my fast is not not null and fast dot next is not null, I point previous equals to slow fast points to fast dot next slow points to slow dot next and we double increment fast. If my fast is still not null, I update my fast to fast dot next. I reset the previous dot next because it has been partitioned. Uh, in the middle to next previous dot next points to null and again i'll recursively invoke uh, the short list method on the first part wherein the head remains the same and on the second part where slow would act as the head of the second linked list once i have divided those two up appropriately i go and perform the merge operation the time complexity of this approach is order of n log n i hope you enjoyed today's session and don't forget to watch the playlist series for linked list. I hope you have a great time going through it. This brings me to the end of today's session. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.